The FDA is being urged to pinpoint how much sugar should be allowed in drinks. A consumer group filed a petition. New this morning, little Ethan's mom says that she's proud her son survived nearly a week in an underground bunker. This Jennifer Kirkland, by the way, also believes that her son's disabilities help keep him alive. Coming up in the next half hour, she says everything changed once Jimmy Lee Dykes got to know more about Ethan. Singer Adele is setting the record straight about a picture of her and Chris Brown at the Grammys. Take a look for yourself. A lot of people thought that they were fighting here. All right. I said you look good in that white suit. <laughs> That's what it was, right? Bob. A lot of cold air. We'll get a look at that coming up in just a couple minutes. More seconds. snow, Bob. What's More going snow. on? It's really the cold air, though. That's going to be a concern, and we'll talk Ooh. about that in a couple minutes. All right, thanks. Hey, before you make a salad for lunch, you're going to want to hear about a recall. And a 102-year-old woman got a huge welcome home after being a special guest at the State of the Union. Okay, check your refrigerators. A major spinach recall has been announced. Jennifer Westhoven joining us now on what we need to be on the lookout for. This is like half of my refrigerator right now. Yikes. Yeah, you're a big spinach eater, huh? I'm trying to drink spinach shakes for the new year still. <laughs> A 16-year-old girl in Texas says her parents are forcing her to get an abortion, but she and her boyfriend want to keep the baby. And now she's hired an attorney and filed a lawsuit. Judge issued a temporary restraining order. The girl's father told local media the accusations in the lawsuit are not true. And there's another hearing in this case tomorrow. All right, Bob and Dylan here now with your air travel update. I know we have some storms. Yesterday was like an hour in New York. What is, what's in store for today? A little bit. Lady Gaga has to have hip surgery. Morning Express wants to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. And if you're looking to spice things up this year, we asked some happily married couples how they keep the romance alive. This hour, it's former NFL player Coy Wire and his wife Claire. And tomorrow on Morning Express, Tyrese Gibson and Rev Run join us live in studio. They're going to be talking about their book, Manology, and also taking your questions on love and relationships. All right. Hey, good morning. I'm Natasha Curry. Hope you're waking up okay. <laughs> Let's get right to the headlines we're working on this morning. New this morning, the mother whose young son was held hostage in an Alabama bunker is talking about the ordeal. Jennifer Kirkland says Ethan is having a hard time sleeping, and she's not sure if he'll ever feel safe on a school bus again. But she is confident that Jimmy Lee Dykes took care of him. President Obama's visit to an Atlanta area school today won't be exactly what it seems. Jody Arias said that her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander, called her his sex slave and other nasty names. Arias said that they kept fighting even after they were not officially dating anymore. She testified that she would get so upset that she would start shaking when Alexander got mad, but she kept seeing him anyway. One of Alexander's friends tells Jane Velez Mitchell that he knew it was a bad relationship. Illinois could be the next state to legalize same-sex marriage. Lawmakers will vote on it today on a measure to give same-sex couples the same rights as traditional couples. The Senate's expected to pass the bill. If it clears, then uh, if it clears the House, Illinois' governor says that he will sign it. Illinois already recognizes civil unions. A meth lab was found in a porta potty right in the middle of a golf course. A porta pot. I've never heard it called that. Man, oh man, that's all right. You know, when I golf, most of my friends they don't even use them anyway. Those maniacs. <laughs> I don't even want to know, Bob. No, I'm on constant <laughs> ranger lookout duty. I'm like Bob, just look for a ranger. <laughs> There you go, Natasha. <laughs> More just a little bit. Cool, Bob. Thank you. You got it. You know that thousands of stranded cruise ship passengers will be really happy to be back on dry land after days aboard a smelly, steamy ship. Please, let's leave. Morning read stories that pop out at us from newspapers and online. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is going after plastic foam used in takeout boxes. South Korea says it has a new missile that can land anywhere in North Korea. Leaders there showed off the cruise missile test today. A vacation gone horribly wrong will finally end for thousands of passengers today. The Carnival Cruise is expected to get towed to Mobile, Alabama, later this afternoon. David Mattingly joins us live in Mobile now. Um, David, are we getting any more details about when this ship is going to be back on dry land? Well, every train right now that's behind you. Uh, David, what have you been hearing from the families who are waiting there for the people on board? 
Well, they haven't been able to talk. You got to think about families with kids and how they're doing. What is Carnival doing about all of this? Mattingly in Mobile, Alabama. Thank you for that update. How many times have you been hungry on vacation and wondered, I wish I knew where the locals go to eat? Well, we've got a hundred great choices for you. Today, Jim Spellman hit City Meat Market in Central Texas. A 79-year-old woman told a judge that she was nervous when hearing the drug charges against her. Affiliate WSB says that a photo taken inside of her house shows a lot of cash tucked in old-style lunch boxes. The latest cruise ship nightmare has travelers wondering now, what can I do if my cruise goes horribly wrong? Maybe you're wondering that. Jennifer Westhoven's here. So, Jen, if you're a cruise ship passenger, do you have any rights? What are they, if so? Yeah, you basically don't, and that's kind of the eye-opener. All right, Jen, thanks. There is a push to change some of your soft drinks. It's all about the sugar that's in there. Today, lawyers for George Zimmerman will ask for surveillance video and voice recordings of Trayvon Martin. Natasha Curry here in for Robin Mead. A lot going on this morning, including some breaking news. The, a girlfriend versus breaking news. A shocker involving one of the biggest stars of the Summer Olympics. A woman was shot and killed in the home of Oscar Pistorius. And according to the South African press agency, it was his girlfriend. Now, remember, Pistorius, who's also known as the Blade Runner, became the first ever double amputee to compete in the Olympics. Carlos Diaz picks up the shocking story from there, Carlos. Yeah, this story is making headlines. Uh, thank you so much, Carlos Diaz. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, the more than 3,000 cruise ship passengers stuck at sea for five miserable days will be able to see land, but you can imagine they won't reach the port for hours after that. We've also heard about the unsanitary conditions that passengers have had to deal with on board. Robin Mead talked about the health concerns when she was filling in for CNN's Pierce Morgan last night. Listen. The manhunt for the former LAPD cop accused of killing four people is now over. Police are waiting for a positive ID of the body now found inside of a burning cabin in the California mountains. But they're pretty sure that it is Chris Dorner. And we've learned that the cop who Dorner killed on Tuesday, Dorner is accused of holding a couple hostage. They say that they're just happy to be alive. New this morning, little Ethan's mom says that she's proud her son survived nearly a week in an underground bunker. The six-year-old met the governor of Alabama this week. There he is. Now Kirkland believes that her son's disabilities help keep him alive. Coming up in the next half hour, she says that everything changed once Dykes got to know more about Ethan. The FDA is being urged to pinpoint how much sugar should be allowed in drinks. Meteorologist Bob Van Dillen's here now with a look at our forecast. Do you have mm -hmm. snow on the way? What's going on? Yeah, a little bit. We're watching a couple storms right now, right. Natasha, and some heavy rain. For Not mm. a blizzard. Not a blizzard. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's for, uh, for the weekend. There All right, Bob, thanks. Uh, Brandon in Atlanta, he gets up early just like you do, and here's his shout-out for the Morning Sunshine Wake Up Club. Oh, that's so cute. And on Valentine's Day, too. And you can leave a shout-out to 1888 Robin HLH. can't wait to hear from you. Illinois could be the next state to legalize same-sex marriage. Lawmakers will vote today on a measure to give same-sex couples the same rights as traditional couples. The Senate's expected to pass the bill, and if it clears the House, Illinois' governor says that he will sign it. Illinois already recognizes civil unions. A 102-year-old woman got a huge welcome home after being a special guest at the State of the Union. Victor said that she felt proud to go to the State of the Union. Lady Gaga has to have hip surgery. A 16-year-old girl in Texas says her parents are forcing her to get an abortion, but she and her boyfriend want to keep the baby. And now she's hired an attorney and filed a lawsuit. Yesterday, a judge issued a temporary restraining order. The girl's father told local media that the accusations in the lawsuit are not true. And there's another hearing in this case tomorrow. Natasha Curry in for Rob and me. Let's get right to the headlines we're working on this morning. Thousands of cruise ship passengers stuck at sea for five days. President Obama's visit to an Atlanta area school today won't be exactly what it seems. The kids are actually on a winter break this week. Jody Arias said her ex-boyfriend Travis Alexander called her his sex slave and other nasty names. One of Alexander's friends tells Jane Velez Mitchell that he knew it was a bad relationship. 
Americans get 20 million new cases of sexually transmitted infections every year, and most of the people getting sick are under the age of 24, and many of those are teens. That's from the CDC. Most of the new cases involve the human papillomavirus. They say that all sexually transmitted infections are preventable, but left untreated, infections like HIV can be deadly. South Korea says it has a new missile that can land anywhere in North Korea. A meth lab was found in a porta potty right in the middle of a golf course. Well, the, the bottles exploded, but that's just what I'm thinking. Porta pot. Wow. Good morning, Bob. Wow. <laughs> I Yikes, mean, the, right? That's crazy. You don't expect that. No, the guys I golf with, the maniacs, they don't even use them anyway. So. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob, thank you. you got it. More on our breaking news right now. A shooting at the home of the first ever double amputee to compete in the Olympics. The Carnival Triumph, the cruise ship that had been marooned in the Gulf of Mexico, is expected to arrive in Mobile, Alabama. The breaking news on this is it's between 7.30 p.m. and 8 p.m., which is several hours later than first expected. So I wanted to update you on that. Of course, we're going to bring that to you um, as soon as we get the pictures of that. You know, there's been a lot of storms lately, and you know who knows all about that. Bob Van Dillen, he's joining us with the air travel update. Mm -hmm. Bob, what's the latest? Because I know yesterday we had some serious delays to talk about. Yeah, we did. And, you know, we have one ground stop right now at uh, Philadelphia. Got a question for you. How much are you paying for software that lets you create and print documents? HLM money expert Clark Howard tells you how you can get it for free. Uh, well, now she's back home where she has power and heat once again. But how sweet of him. Police say they found more than a thousand pounds of stolen mail inside a guy's apartment in Washington State. Happy Good Morning Thursday to you. I'm Natasha Curry in for Rob and me. Maybe you're struggling to wake up this morning, but we'll get you caught up at least. Breaking news right now. Apple loses its rights to the iPhone name. Well, that's just one story trending online this morning. It's happening in Brazil. A judge there gave rights to the iPhone name to an Apple competitor. A local company can use the name for the next five years. Check details out at CNN.com. Also, actor Hugh Jackman is talking about rumors that he's gay. He says the reports bother him, but they're even tougher for his wife of 16 years. He talked about it with a Hollywood reporter. Also, Lady Gaga will have hip surgery, so her entire Born This Way ball tour was canceled yesterday. She apparently tore cartilage surrounding her hip. Live Nation says ticket refunds start today. And Bob, I was saying earlier, I was reading her tweets this morning. She's talking about how bad she feels and how she wants to be there for her fans. So it sounds really disappointing for her. But yeah, hopefully that's... she'll get back on her feet quickly and have a speedy recovery. How's weather? It's a tough injury. Yeah, good morning to you. Everybody's biggest fear during tax season is, of course, an audit. Jennifer Westhoff is here to tell you how you can stay under the radar and avoid the attention of the IRS. Nobody wants that. No. And, I mean, I, I, I how much time it takes when people do get audited. Right. I mean, I haven't had it, but the, you know, of course, the just just going through it, even if there's nothing wrong at all, right, um, can be a, a, a lot of time. Yeah. To try to eat your salad and your driving. Yeah. <laughs> right. And there's it's salad a lot all over safer. the car. Yeah, and, and and even Starbucks, I know they sell them, so you can get one for you and your kid, and you know, healthier and faster. I think and they nobody said, will see you, Natasha. <laughs> they're going to put it in like a plain white thing, almost, because so many grown-ups are still too embarrassed about it. <laughs> oh, I get over it. All right, Jen, thank you. There is a push to possibly change some of your soft drinks. You and you kiss me, girl. You rock me harder. Than Phillips in the studio. We'll chat with her in just a sec. But right now, let's get to your morning read. Stories that pop out at us from newspapers and online. Let's move on here. We're going to talk about high school confessions all over Facebook. We're not just talking about hookups and breakups. Kira Phillips has been digging into this for Raising America. Kira, what exactly did you find here? Oh, boy. Just listen to a couple of these postings, Natasha. Apparently, more women have taken the morning after pill since access became easier. But most of those women say they've only taken it once. That's from new stats from the CDC. It says 11% of sexually active women took it between 2006 and 2010. That's when women could get the pill without a prescription. 4% admitted taking it before then. Breaking news, we have a lot of storms to talk about today. How's it affecting travel? Yeah, so far we're looking at rain around Florida and it's been heavy. 
Hey, Morning Express wants to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. And if you're looking to spice things up this year, we asked some happily married couples how they keep the romance alive. This hour, it's former NFL player Coy Wire and his wife Claire. Look. 